Hello everyone, I hope all of you are having a fabulous week and before I get started with narrating the current article that I have live on my blog, I hope all of you are subscribed to my YouTube channel Life Dimitri Ruan and please feel free to comment and just let me know what you think I could do better for the channel and what type of content you are interested in seeing featured across all my platforms. Um, I wanted to narrate the article that I wrote for my most recent post on the blog, which is called High Fashion Halloween. Now, personally for me, whenever Halloween comes around, I try to utilize what I have available to me in my closet in order to put out the best look. Now, I am aware that sometimes this is not possible and you do have to kind of go out and buy a few little tidbits to kind of accompany the look that you want to convey during Season. this. But at the same time, for me, especially somebody who is in my late 20s, I do want to present a look that's chic, while at the same time, kind of just acknowledging the fact that it is Halloween. I have never been called a party pooper, and I always try to stick to a dress code and a dress theme while being imaginative and out of the box, which is precisely why I wrote this article. So for those of you that have been unable to read the article on my blog, I am going to narrate it as is, and you can take inspiration as I'll put up the images on this IGTV story so you can have a better understanding of what I mean with each look. So it's that time of the year when pumpkin spice lattes are plenty and jack-o'-lanterns are all around. Well, perhaps not in the Emmy, but everywhere else. But for those of us that aren't about to don a synthetic monstrosity of a costume to partake in the month's Halloween festivities, it's important to derive costume inspiration from a combination of cult classics, rebellious designers, photographers, and vintage imagery that walk the fine line between high fashion and fancy dress. Here are 10 customized Halloween inspiration boards for him, her, and them, because you know, we stay true to everyone. So the first board is from one of my favorite books and movies. Um, it has a singular strong image of Stephen King's classic villain, the clown from It, and it actually derives inspiration from carnival imagery and photographers such as Tim Walker. So Tim Walker's photography has long been the stuff of dreams and nightmares, weaving beauty and the macabre in a fantastical symbiosis. Take cues and inspiration from films like Stephen King's It to recreate a look that calls to carnival performers through the usage of deconstructed suits and tool can-cans, darkened eyes, stripes, a splatter of crimson rouge across overalls, or a skinny fit suit as seen at Tom Brown's 2018 collection. Now, you can just do so much with fabric such as tulle, which you can buy for around five germs a yard at Satwa, and just layer it across deconstructed suits. Borrow a suit jacket that costs you 10 germs or $10 and just hack into it. You'd be surprised at what you can do with a rejuvenated silhouette. Now, moving on to the next mood board, which is Gorgon Glamour. For those of you that don't know, a Gorgon is actually a mythical creature derived from Greek folklore or Greek mythology, and it refers to iconic Gorgons or stories or legends such as, for example, Medusa. And I think this look in particular is more of a beauty look. So I think if you are going to go ahead with this type of style, you should keep your outfit to the simplest and the most minimalist. So for example, in the mood board, Iris Van Herpen's earlier work and the groundbreaking vision of Franca Sazzani's Vogue Italia remind us of the power of hair and makeup. While we can suggest you weave rubber snakes through your hair, though we aren't opposed to it, honestly, if you want to weave rubber snakes through your hair, honey, go for it because I am in full support. Several large braids across slicked tresses can have a metamorphic effect. Pair with a simple Jersey Grecian gown dip dyed in shades of gray. Dip dyeing kits are available super easy at Creative Minds or any party center. Or better yet, just keep it white and just do it up with the makeup. I think this look is very easily achievable for any girl who does the simplest of makeup looks. And um, I think it's definitely achievable with a little imagination. And I hope the mood board serves you with ample room to experiment and just explore your best self for that look. Moving on, look 
And mood board number three is sartorial cycle. Mm, we've all known quite a few of those. So the sartorial cycle look, let's begin to explain what it's about. If Christian Bale's character in American Psycho isn't the definition of wickedly sexy, we don't know what is. I mean, honestly, I have enough psychos in my life. I had to put this one in the mood board. <laughs> Gelled back hair, button-up shirt, complete with suspenders, and a suit fit that is fire. Look to inspiration for sleek style as showcased on the Dior Ohm runway. Films such as Midnight Meat Train, and why not top it all off with a discounted lab coat? Just for a sinister chuckle. Imagine the silhouette of a perfect suit. Now, keep in mind, you do not have to spend big bucks on buying a nice suit. You can just use the suit that you have. After all, most Halloween events are after eight, and nobody's really going to notice if your suit is a little bit off-fitting. That being said, suit fit is important. Now, imagine the silhouette of a suit, a dark suit, over top with a lab coat, slicked back hair, with just a smatter of crimson across your face. I think the most important thing with this article for me is to really help you and myself, in fact, just to feel sexy. But I think also it's important to remember that there is a way to kind of ride that fine line between overly costumey and just appearing chic while respecting the holiday season. Now, look number four. Are we on look number four? I am super confused because there are no numbers on my article. Retro looks. Retro looks has a singular image of a scene from Carrie, which is again one of my favorite Stephen King films. And I think it really does very much hold true to the time we're in now where there are so many retro references being made. And Stephen King's cult classic Carrie is forever ingrained in our psyches, and it conveniently coincides with the resurgence of popular interest in all things retro. From the hit Netflix show Pose, which my friend Moore still hasn't watched, to American Horror Story's latest season based in 1984, think headbands, lingerie as dresses, reflective motor jackets, cheetah prints, and ankle warmers. Oh, and let's not forget the splatter of fall blood. Optional, of course, but highly recommended. Because let's be honest, if you're just going to wear a sequin dress, you're not going to look like you're celebrating the holiday. You're going to look like a party pooper. But I think the most important thing to take away from this particular mood board is that there's so many retro looks going on right now. And you can just find looks easily at your local store, at your local H&M, and you don't have to really fork out the cash to give us a look. I think the most important factor or the most important component that I try to inspire through my work and through... Um, just my visuals is that I want you all to use your imagination and create a look that is not only true to your style and makes you feel like the best version of yourself, but that it's also imaginative and out of the box and just something truly beautiful. Now, the next one, which I'm sure is mood board number five, and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of this regardless of my article or not, and it is called Leather Fella. Mm, interesting, right? So fetishized, sexualized, coveted. Leather is a staple in the wardrobe of modern men and women. Take Halloween as the perfect opportunity to explore your wild side by amping it up. Pair your leather jacket with PVC, leather trousers, or dark denim. Rip up an old white shirt or pair with a bare chest and gilet. For those of you that do not know, a gilet is typically a sleeveless jacket. It could almost, it is not a waistcoat. It typically appears during winter or across fur textiles. So take inspiration from D Squared's Fight Club inspired runway of yesteryear and iconic vintage imagery by Versace and the titillating work of Tom of Finland. I'm sure all of my kaleidoscopic community knows the comics and artwork of Tom of Finland. If you haven't, you need to Google it, but do not Google it with kids around because it is not the type of thing you should be Googling with kids around. Again, with this look, I think it's really easy to pull off and you look like a real badass. Imagine leather jackets, leather trousers, and just like the spatter of like crimson blood or like a slight bruise on your cheek achieved through slight makeup. And you will just have the most 
sinister yet chic yet bad boy aesthetic and that is again the purpose i feel of halloween you don't really have to go out there especially because there's so many of us that are in our 20s that are attending halloween events and halloween parties it is no longer and i think for quite a while it has not been a children's holiday even though i suppose children get the best of it with all that candy whereas for us what are we going to get <laughs> so moving on to number six statuettes because there's a lot of gold going on in this mood board as you guys can tell and there's nothing more majestic than a solid gold look be inspired by the statues of versailles and the bond classics like goldfinger paired with the haute couture work of designers such as ellie saab glitz and death beauty and pain for a truly yuri yet beauty look don your face arms and legs in gold paint swatched in a sequin sheath or simple style of dress. Alternatively, this can also work from a men's perspective. It really is about how you perceive all of the mood boards that I've presented you guys with. So for example, in this one, in Statuesque, you have gold dresses, you have a head-to-toe gold makeup look, you have a gold Elisa Bourde couture dress, you have a statue from Versailles. It really is about how you perceive things. And I think it would be really interesting if for example, you, as, a, as a man, you tried to pull off this look as well. Of course, without, without the dress, even though I have no objection, objection to anybody wearing dresses, I think the whole look that I was going for here through this mood board is the look of a golden statue. It would look majestic. It would look superb. It would also look completely eerie as if you were walking by a head-to-toe statue that is completely in gold but with moving eyes. Think about that. Think about that the next time you're in a museum. Now, the next board, um, which is board number seven, is actually called Texturize, and it's one of my favorites. Christy Turlington by Giles Ben Simmons in 1987 is one of the central images. She's covered in fuchsia pink feathers. You guys know I have a supreme obsession with feathers and textures, although I do not advocate the use of real fur. And I also stand by feathers that are obtained humanely and not through the live plucking of birds. I think visually the looks that were given through vintage images are incredibly stunning. And it really is a look. And I think feathers and textures of any kind of any sort really play into the whole mood of Halloween. So Pier Paolo's iconic floating feather plume hats at Valentino and the rawness of textures create a story within a story. Whether you're belting boas bought in bulk or donning ginormous fur fur coats and channeling a critter. Do you guys remember this movie from the 90s called Critters? Well, I've put a little image in there for those of you that are wondering why that image is in there. It's because it's a Halloween feature. You guys need to get with your horror film jargon. So the bigger the volume, the bigger the appeal. Yep, that's what I said. Number eight is Fembot. For most of you who follow reality star Kim Kardashian or even supermodel like Naomi Campbell, you may have seen a resurgence of the work of famed designer Thierry Mugler. Thierry Mugler's concepts have, I had a little bit of a slur there, but um, Thierry Mugler's concepts have really been out of the box before there were out of the box designers. And he really showcased a knack for reforming, restructuring, reshaping the female and male figures Thierry Mugler's iconic creations have made a massive comeback thanks to the icons like Naomi Campbell and Kim Kardashian. Take cues from Lady Gaga's paparazzi music video or browse the endless inspiring array of Mugler's work available online to recreate your own version of the fembot. Zara's metallic dress could definitely hit the right notes when paired with silver hair and metallic opera gloves. So you see, even though this mood board in particular features a metallic bustier look it really is about channeling the same vibe. So even if you are unable to don a metallic bra and a metallic arm piece and a metallic headpiece, it really is about the visual and about the look you are able to present to people through recreating a vibe. Let these mood boards serve as inspiration. I think this is number nine. Yes, number nine is called operatic operatic. Hmm. 
There is nothing grander than an opera coat, completely agreed. However, for grandeur effect, look to mimicking the styles of designers such as Jeremy Scott's Moschino and Kim Jones' Sashes and Wonders at Dior Homme. Both pack a sartorial punch with regal aplomb. Alexander McQueen's leather trench also brings variations to mind. A bright red bomber and the Phantom's half mask is deliciously millennial. Imagine a bright red bomber and just a typical Phantom of the Opera mask. It would look fantastic. And again, I think this really pays homage to just the power of imagination and the power of storytelling through clothing. I think even if you were to wear dark denim and a long sleeve oversized hoodie and a handsome mask phantom <laughs> a phantom mask with gelled back hair it would look fantastic so it really is about how you want to present yourself to the world and uh, your approach to clothing in general now the last board is derived from a movie that supremely irritated me but I have always given credit where credit is due. And the film Midsommar, for those of you who have not watched it, I would not recommend it. But visually, there were some incredible moments. So while some may debate the appeal of the 2019 folk horror film Midsommar, visually speaking, it delivered multiple moments of awe and wonder. None, however, surpassed the glorious look worn by the lead character in the final moments of the film a head-to-toe look of blossoming fauna. This look reminded us of the iconic shows of Lee McQueen and the magical power of blooms in costume. Dried roses and hydrangeas can make for the perfect headpiece, while a frock of frills and layers can offset the folkloric look. So for me, when I was creating this mood board, the outfit inspiration and, and um, the kind of key figure for me was very elf-like, very nymph, and um, woodland fairies and just something a little bit more sinister. Perhaps darkened blooms can make you appear as if you are a darker fairy or a darkened woodland magical creature. And I really think the way it's executed is so beautiful through these visuals. Of course, um, I'm not expecting anyone to be sitting their hands stitching fresh blooms onto dresses, but at the same time, there are a lot of stationary companies that sell fall flowers or paper flowers that could be very easily glued onto a simple dress and glued over your body using body glue. So I think there are a lot of options with this one. And again, it can also be achieved by, um, it's a look that can also be achieved for men, but I think it really is about having a strong idea and a strong visual for what you want to portray this Halloween. So, I hope all of you have enjoyed my narration of my high fashion Halloween looks. If you have any questions or just feedback regarding this Instagram story, please just drop me a message and a comment and please make sure you share and like the article on my website, which is Life of Dimitri Ruan. I will leave the link in my Instagram story and across my socials and hope you guys have a fantastic, spooky, eerie Halloween. Peace out, guys.